Can you hear us? I hear you now. Hey, I think it's good. Yeah, we're good now. All right. I moved outside. Hopefully outside works a little better, too. Um, yeah, yeah, we moved a little bit, too. Just, uh, <laughs> just in hopes. A little bit better. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's tricky when you're out on the move like that, trying to find Wi-Fi and cell service that always works. Totally. Justin used to work for Verizon. Uh, but he gets it. So he he really knows. He gets all those, <laughs> can you hear me now questions. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I remember those commercials from back in the day. But um, see, so before we had some problems here, you guys were you, you're out on you're headed towards you said Illinois. Yeah, yeah, we're playing in Illinois tonight. Oh, nice. Um, and then where do you guys go from from Illinois? Is it kind of like a multi-state tour, or are you kind of sticking in that? We'll be we'll be hitting fifteen. We'll be playing in fifteen states. Oh, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we're headed from here. A big bug. From here, we're going to uh, Louisville, Kentucky, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Columbus, Canton, Youngstown, Ohio, Pittsburgh, um, all around and all around Massachusetts, New York City, Connecticut. Uh, North Carolina, Virginia, Floyd, Virginia, where they just had Floyd test, or or about to, or did. Cool. Uh, and back through Tennessee, Nashville, and Memphis. Yeah, Kansas. All right, on. It sounds like it sounds like it'd be a fun trip. You know, kind of. Yeah. Oh yeah. Should be all right. I imagine you guys aren't doing that all in a month. Or at least I hope you're not. Uh, no. Almost two months. Very nice. And then you guys come back. You guys are all from Colorado, or are you kind of a little more dispersed? We're we're all we're all dispersed. I'm from South Florida. Our buddy, our Oops, buddy, our sly guitar player is from Alaska. So we would cover the ground just me and him. And then we got two two boys from uh, the Massachusetts area. And then. We got oh, our bass. Our bass player is from Memphis. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, you kind of a little bit, a little bit everywhere. That's the a little bit everywhere. We we all live in Colorado though. Go bees, go pats, go socks. Nice. <laughs> How are we doing? So, uh, what what kind of music are you guys doing? You kind of you see it's slide, slide guitar. So I imagine it's somewhat kind of maybe rock and rollish. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of rock and roll, um, a lot of the Southern rock influence from the Almond Brothers. Um, and then we do some kind of our own kind of psychedelic jam band stuff. Oh, cool. So kind of mixing a little bit of like traditional jam band stuff with like contemporary jam band stuff. Oh, nice. Got a little bit of like fish in there influence. A little bit, little bit of fish. Um, we, we really have influences from all over. Uh, me and this guy, a couple of us grew up on the dead. And I think we all grew up with like the Almond Brothers and classic rock, but then we got right. like a metal guy and then some more Folk jazz like boy. Americana stuff as well, folky. So it's a good mix. That sounds like a, that sounds like it's a, like you kind of pull from everywhere a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Which is fun. We, and like also too, like, we grew up with hip hop, so like sometimes oh, yeah. the drum will just kick a hip hop beat in there, and we we have some fun with that. I try to rap to it, but it's not that great. Oh, that that tends to happen. Yeah, we keep the <laughs> we keep the rap genre genre out of once our tequila uh, gets once tequila gets involved. Then <laughs> well, that's when it, that's when it gets fun, right? You get the tequila involved. Yeah, then it's then it's game on. It's not it's definitely not game over. It's game on at that point. Right on. So other than other than touring, what do you else are you guys kind of you working on any any kind of side projects or albums yeah. or? Yeah, we actually um, well we just finished a nice round of disc golf all around the road. Right, 
nice so day for we it. Got, we got a bunch of stuff coming up. We uh, just recorded an album um, down in Evil, Colorado. Okay. And that's called Violet Lane. Um, we got a song getting released pretty soon here on the 13th. August 13th. August 13th. It's called Stand Up. It should be on all major streaming platforms. Oh, wait, cool. And um, yeah, it's a, it's got like all, all those different kind of genres we just mentioned in that one song. It's got funk. It's got... It's got a lot of funk. It's got like a lot of jam bandy vibes. It sounds a little bit like yeah. if Grateful Dead and Paul Simon had a love child. Right. Uh, yeah. Pretty childs. Yeah. So that's that. You got a great pan. Have oh. you noticed the camera's panning? That's our pan. We got, I, we I have noticed it's been panning. moving around a little bit. Our pan. I really like that white claw camera, you know, white claw shot that was in there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So we're so just, we actually we in at the of, bottom of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> sponsored by White Claw. We're actually we're trying to get an oat milk sponsorship. Simply perfect. Uh oh. Huh? Um, did it go away? Can you hear us? Uh, I can still hear you. You just disappeared for a minute. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> that's not good. So, so yeah, we. You that's, might that's be not... some outside stuff going on out here. Apparently, um, someone out here is running a pressure washer. Really? I don't know if you can hear it, but I, I surely can. I can't really. Oh, that's I good. Do I, I don't do a lot with Zoom. Usually, that usually we film these things in person, or or uh, um, you know, we kind of I come to them, but I can't go to Illinois. What What kind. is? So where are, where are you from? What's your? I don't think I got names from you. I'm Cody, by the way. I'm Justin, and I I live here in Colorado. I live in Loveland. Oh, awesome! <laughs> so, but I travel all over the place. So, oh, we we have a Denver shows coming up, actually. Nice. Yeah, um, at Wood Boss, and then uh, the Lodge of Wood Boss, and then uh, we just announced yesterday Dante uh, coming up with Funky in. Yeah, cool. Um, I don't know if I caught everybody else's names, other than Cody. Cody, is that? My name's Adam. Okay. Justin, I like your name. Nice. Also Zach. I don't. So I've got to ask, which are you guys all like uh, enthusiasts on disc golf, or is it kind of like a Someone started and everybody kind of plays along. Um, well, I started back in college, um, and yeah, I, I, I've been playing ever since. Uh, I brought my disc with me on the last tour, and I kind of jumped in. Something to get out of the band, stretch the legs, hang out. You know, a lot of times, you know, people who. Right. You know, kind of the culture out here is complementary to like band band music as well. We tend to meet a lot of people at this golf course. Um, but yeah, we, we, we started playing last tour together and then, uh, you know, we thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, a little bit of com uh, competition and uh, a, a challenge, you know. Team, we, team building exercise. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Stretch your legs. It's, it's nice. So, oh, no, it might actually break. Uh, we'll I got a little upset. Yeah. Got bad. We had money on this one. Dollar. Uh, Dollar. We had a uh, hundred. We, we did a hundred penny. And, um, you know, it was, it was tough out there, but ultimately I, I ended up coming through. I just want to give a shout out. I want to thank, I want to thank uh, Paul. <laughs> a Nova Disc. Um, shout out to those guys. Nice. All right. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, I, I bet it is. I haven't done it much myself. I can't throw a frisbee very straight. Um, they always like to turn one more. Um, but actually, the biggest thing I bring comes with this being straight. Like right down the middle, we like chuck it off, curves too much. 
That's an incredible thing. <laughs> Uh, so, um, as you guys are out on, on tour and and kind of kind of living the tour life here, what is probably one of your favorite experiences from from doing this tour so far, or Man. just in general? You, you know, you, if you've done other ones too, that'd be great. Really, just seeing the country, you know, get to see because I've never really toured. A lot. This is my next tour I've never really just a lot. Of uh, I think that's a pretty cool trip to do. Get the drive, you get all the time. Um, so, yeah, it's cool to see people. Obviously, it's a different country. And people, uh, you know, it's just a different country. 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 It's just a it's really cool. We stay up all night these nights playing music when we're home. And uh, cool to see people that aren't, you know, your friends will say, oh, that was sick. Yeah. Uh, like, we love that. So you get like a more authentic experience to play for people who don't owe you, you know, yeah, they, they, is wrong. Right. You know? Yeah, they don't, know, they don't owe you anything. Yeah. So it's cool to see. <laughs> It's cool to see a reaction, you know. Our last tour we went we went five weeks south and uh you know, you don't know how jam band music is gonna go over in some of these towns. We've had some great impact. So that's that's my part of the tour. It was fantastic. Yeah, um I, I think like one of my favorite parts is uh you take um we're all Colorado, okay? So, you know, coming up from way up in the mountains, culture quite a bit different there than most of the country. And just when you when you uh, take the music and go, you put it out of its, uh, I guess, where the environment created, um, it, it starts with a comfortable position, which I think, like, you know, taking yourselves like out of that comfort zone ends up like, you know, making you super comfortable to play anywhere. Um, right. Which is really cool. Um, and, and a thing that I, I thoroughly enjoy about it is like, okay, you know, be vulnerable and put yourself and your music out there. And then doing that so many times kind of like builds up this, you know, tough skin to like, to, to do it everywhere and, and yeah that's my favorite part nice yeah so it's, it's quieted down here a little bit so i can hear you a little better but um everything i heard like it it sounds like uh the experience is is very well worth it um you know you play to different people uh totally in different and yeah, different walks of life it sounds like too a little bit um from the venues you, you, you play um, but I've, I've lost my train of thought on what I was, <laughs> what I was going to ask you guys next. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of freewheeling it here a little bit. Um, but feel free to, cool. you know, if anything you you, you want to talk about, you know, kind of comes to mind there. You know, you can, you can blurt it out or whatever, you know. Um, uh, and I've, and like I said, I've lost lost my train of thought. So um. I'm pretty. Just, I'm really just stoked about this new music that we're putting out because um, it really represents the band where we are right now. Um, you know, a lot of the first album's a little more folk Americana, um, and it's going to be really cool to just show people out of state when they listen to us on Spotify. They like you know, a little more folk, a little more Americana, bring it to them, and whoa, you guys are psychedelic. And this is a cool little mix from all these two so it's gonna be awesome to get new material out and uh the whole album um it's a collection of six songs one kind of an interlude more but um yeah it just really defines where, where we've become and where we're at right now so stoked to just keep the, keep the world so so there's there's a topic right there okay like 
And so uh, essentially, at, uh, Zach, Adam, and Justin created the band. All right. And okay, they, cre cool. they created the first album um, prior to Cody and I uh, being in the band. Uh, and the album has, has done extremely well on streaming platforms and and, and across you know, the internet as people come to check it out. But the thing with the album, as Justin just mentioned over here, it's, it's like folk Americana, which is, which is a great thing, a great category genre that we all thoroughly enjoy and has influenced us greatly. But, or rather, however, um, as a five piece, since, since Cody has joined and I have joined, um, the music has shifted into more of this like psychedelic jam uh, southern rock experimental thing that that still connects us all with our roots but it steps out of like a more mild um listening experience to to more of a uh to me a more of an engaging experience but a different genre all in itself right and so as a band one of the things that we have that i have struggled with like personally is like all right, we have this music that's out there and it's really good, but it's almost like catfishing people, right? It's like people show up to the show and they hear, you know, like let's take for instance, like the number one streaming song is Song Without Sin. And it's a very mild acoustic, soft Colorado, um, mountain. Colorado mountain music. Okay, cool. But then as people start, you know, show up to the show, like there's these ripping <laughs> dueling guitar solos in a screaming uh, lap still. And you have, you have a an organ sound coming out in, in a Rhodes electric piano and, and just different things that were not present in that album. And so right now where we're at is we, we've been able to record that sound and now we're starting the releases of the five piece sound, right. which is we're, really we're really stoked about and obviously we're we're passionate about um about the music that we're creating now as a five piece but it you know what justin is saying it feels really good to now like it hasn't even started yet like we have two so singles out there as a five piece and we're about to release the third august 13th which is you know in a week in a yeah. week or two and and so that's just the beginning of the whole record that we're about to release. So, um, yeah, we're really stoked about that. We're out on tour. We're touring off music that we're playing now, and we're excited to release that music. So, so it's definitely something to. Uh, Are you guys going to release it as a whole album eventually? Or are you just kind of kind of keep doing singles? Like great, great question. On, on the first leg of this tour, we we toured through my hometown, which is Memphis. While we were in Memphis, we recorded a handful of songs live in the studio. And the, the songs that we're releasing right now are songs that were live, recorded live in Memphis. Now, the album itself will be released October 1st. Oh, so, cool. so we're, we're going to release the whole thing at that time. But in between right now and then, we're going to release some of the live singles and then as, as well as a single or two from the uh, album itself. And then the, you, you can expect to see the whole record out uh, October 1st. That's awesome. That, that's uh, that's some exciting stuff. I kind of look forward to, to seeing that when it kind of gets debuted. Totally. I'm sure, there, I'm sure there's many others that are as well. Not just. Yeah. yeah. That was just kind of a catch up to like a, a, a preface. Yeah. To, to what Justin was saying over here. Right. Now, Justin, are you coming to Woodboss uh, Lodge when we play down there uh, December 23rd? Third. Perhaps. That's it. The day before Christmas. Oh, was it? Two days before Christmas. No, no, no September. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you said December there for a minute. I was like, oh, that's quite a ways out there, but Colorado. So, so we have a we have a Wood Boss, the Lodge at Wood Boss. That is uh, September twenty third, November. Nice. And then yesterday we just announced uh, Cervantes uh, in December. So December tenth. Okay. Love to see you at one and or both. I'm gonna try to. I'll try to catch one of those two. 
yeah, I got a hectic. My schedule changes from time to time, uh, from week to week, actually, which cool. I'm sure you guys is probably do a little bit as well. Um, but definitely would love to come out and see you guys play. Great. What do you do, Justin? Um, I'm a recording engineer slash live sound engineer slash video editor. I, I have lots of hats. Nice. So. Who's one of you? <laughs> yeah, I, I get uh, I get a lot of bands. I uh, just worked with a band last week where we did a bunch of live show, a uh, live concert for them. So that was fun. Always, awesome. always nice doing it live. I, I miss live sound so much. I, I kind of la- missed it the last few years. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it, there's nothing like a live show. It's, it, that's what I want to say about the tour too. The the tour, like like the shows, is you're always adapting to the moment that it's right. Exactly. Really, you can plan for the next 20 miles, but you never know what's going to happen. And it's kind of cool. I mean, it, it keeps it exciting. Every moment is different. Like you, every moment you have to adapt to that situation. You get to a venue and there's. You know, there's a sound guy with the drum. Or you can get to a venue and there's a sound guy and he's working with like BB King or something. So, like, it, everything changes in a moment. Um, that's what's cool about live. Sweet. Yeah, the live, the live stuff is really, it's really cool to hear, um, like, bands play live because they're like, just, oh, we, we messed up, but nobody else, know, nobody else knows because it's live. Right. Yeah, exactly. it's like that could be a mess up, or it could just be something they do when they play live. It, it it's yeah. some spontaneity to it. Spontaneity is yeah. That's, that's what why we like about. covering the Grateful Dead because if we mess up, we just say we were just doing it like one of their earlier shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody knows the difference. <laughs> just kidding, we don't mess up. Uh, everybody messes up at some point. <laughs> Right. Well, I don't. I don't want to take up too much more of your guys' time. Um, you can get, get back to playing some frisbee golf. Um, yeah, probably just start driving. But I really, I really enjoyed talking with you guys, and hope to see you uh, see you play uh, here soon. Hopefully in September, if not December. Yeah, totally. And, uh, anybody on the uh, YouTube channel? Uh, check out. You might need to repeat that. I don't know if I caught any of that. It kind of was getting choppy. Yeah, so um, anybody listening out there, make sure you check out the um, uh, for work uh, Anything else that comes away? Right on, yeah. No, definitely. We'll, we'll keep you guys in mind and look forward to your guys' album debut as well as singles and and shows well, appreciate you thanks, thanks justin well thanks guys peace see you later